Thank you for watching the video. Um, in this video we're going to look at how you can set up alerts on files that you've actually put into Microsoft Teams. So what a lot of people don't realise about Microsoft Teams is that Teams actually builds a SharePoint site when you create a new team. So all the files that we have uploaded into our, our team chat channel, uh, they reside under the files tab. So let's say this Excel file here is a file that I want people to update for me, but rather than having to keep going and, and emailing them or phoning them and checking if they've updated it, because we're all working from home currently, I can actually get the system to set me an automatic alert up that will tell me if someone has made a change to the file. To do that, within the chat channel, I've come to the files tab, and as I float over the file, you'll notice there is the ellipsis button. Now if I click on the ellipsis, you'll see one of the options within there is to open in SharePoint. Now if I pick that option, that should then take me to the document library within the SharePoint site. And you'll notice it's named the SharePoint site the exact same as what you called your Microsoft team. The general chat stream is actually a it's actually a folder within the document library. Now within there I've got my Excel file and if I float over it in the SharePoint window, you will see another ellipsis button. Now if I click on that, you'll see within that list of options is something called Alert Me. Clicking on that will open this window. Now the name of the alert is by default the name of the document library, which for most of us would be documents, and then the name of the file. And it's gonna email me if any changes happen to this document. But that also includes if I make changes to that document. So rather than getting emailed when I've made a change, I can take it down to the next option down, which is that somebody else in the organization has made changes to this document. Now I tend to use the bottom two more at a folder level rather than at a single file level. So if someone else has changed a document that was created by me, if there were several files within one folder, rather than setting an alert up on each one, I might go to the folder level and get it to do that for every document in that folder that I created. Or I might want to be updated when someone has changed a document that I was the last person to modify. So I might choose that bottom option. And then from there, we can choose how often we get these uh, notifications. So the default is that it would be an immediate notification. So when the person has finished updating the file, I will get an email confirming that there's been a change to that file. I can downgrade that to a daily notification. And if I was to choose that option, it gives me the option to then choose the time of day that that notification comes through. Or I could take it to a weekly summary report. And again, just like with the daily one, I now get the ability to choose what day and also what time. Once you've made your choices, if you press OK, what you'll find is in a moment you'll get a visual confirmation that that alert has been set up. You'll also get an email telling you that that alert's been set up. So if that went off the screen before you could see it, you will receive an email telling you that as well. Now, if anyone makes a change to that file, I will again get an email telling me that that has happened. If at a later date I decide, you know what, I actually don't need notifying about this file anymore, to remove these alerts or to modify an existing one, you would simply go up to the main toolbar within your document library, you'd press the ellipsis button there, and then you would go to manage my alerts. And within there, you would see all your alerts, and because I've only got this one alert, I've only got the category of immediate, 
but there would be a grouping for daily and a grouping for weekly. If I want to change the alert, I simply click on its name. It then takes me back in. If instead of that I wanted to delete that alert, I would tick the little tick box at the beginning and then I would choose to delete that. So that is how we set alerts up using um, Microsoft Teams and the power that is SharePoint that lies beneath it. Hope you found the video useful guys and um, as I've said on previous videos I hope to produce more. If you would like the video that would be brilliant. If you would subscribe that would be great as well and in the comments can you put any ideas that you've got for any other Microsoft videos be it on Excel, be it on SharePoint, PowerPoint, Word, any other videos that you would like to see and if I can create them I'll make them. Thank you very much guys for watching.